Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Danganronpa Killing Harmony. In the last one, we completed quite a lot, and we're actually in the next investigation. Usually, I actually just noticed something. I usually sit inside the monopad and <laughs> I completely forgot to, but it's fine. Okay, so last part we were on, we investigated quite a bit. We haven't looked at the Necro Necronomicon yet, so I think we should look at this. Ah, oh, this book. Yeah, this is the Necronomicon that they gave us. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. I don't know if that actually works or not. This was the motive, the Necronomicon. Hey. Angie tried to perform the ritual written in the book, right? Okay. Yes, if we look at, it, at this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual she tried to, she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, so you do have to have a wax effigy. The ne Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn the Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution, be mindful of the carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three victims. Then close your eyes and wait after a while. You should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. Huh. That's strange. So these are the steps of the resurrection ritual? Angie really believed in this crap? It's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can roll anything out. Yeah, true, we can't really roll anything out. Necronomicon has been added to your truth bullet section. Okay, cool. Maybe we should talk to Gota? Oh wait, no, we're looking at Angie right now. Let's look at all the wax dolls, maybe. Four effigies are hung up with rope. From the ceiling's exposed beams. Oh, we've already read this. Okay. Hmm... Okay. We, I don't think we've looked at Angie's body yet. So let's take a look at that. The blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of the neck, as well as lacerations on her forehead. The killing blow is a si single stab to the back of the neck. A sneak attack, most likely. Then what do you make of this wound on your forehead? Maybe the culprit hit her in the head before stabbing her from behind. But her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid-attack? Oh, yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What is going on with these two wounds? Forehead injury has been added to your troop spell huh? section. Huh? huh? What's wrong, Maki? Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. Is this... What's what's this doing crumpled underneath her body? What is it? This duct tape? This is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? Uh... It's got hair on it, too. That's... Okay, so... This was attached to her head, apparently. I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Unless she was resting her head on it. I could be wrong. Looks like there are hair sticks stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? Bloody duct tape has been added to your truth bolt section. I'm surprised, surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden under her body. It was partially visible as a detective. You should have noticed it before I did. Oh, uh, well, that's true. E well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over it. Okay. Well, then it's good thing that you used you're used to corpses, Maki. Huh? Do you wanna die? Sorry. 
Uh, sorry, joking, I couldn't re resist. You don't need to apologize, I was joking too. That didn't sound like a joke, though. <laughs> I don't think Maki's gonna kill us. I- I hope. <laughs> I- I'm gonna hope and, uh, doubt that she'd kill us. Okay, Miyu, what you wanna talk about? This busty-brained beauty has this all figured out. Huh? You mean you know who the culprit is? Huh? The culprit? Fuck that! Hey. Shuichi, do we really have the time to be listening to her? Wait. Hey, wait! I'm- wait, goddammit! Are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? Just listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me, listen! Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, if you're gonna twist my arm, then, I'll tell you, you better thank me for this. You know. Okay. I know y'all dumber than fleas, but even you get how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another purpose? But I figured it out. With just one glance, these are diversions. Diversions. Yep, the culprit used these wax, do wax dolls to distract us from something. Got a minute? What do you mean by that? What? Huh? How should I know? Isn't that Sherlock Homo's job? Oof. You're a waste of time. Oof. Maki turned and walked away. I can't say I blame her. What was that? Huh? The hell's her problem? She's on a r on the rag or something? Hmm. So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know. Let's just see how detailed these really are. Uh, uh hey. Miu tried to look at up the wax figure skirt. What are you doing? Stop that. Yeah, please don't do that. I just wanted to see if this doll was wearing any panties. Wait, do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend is a doll now? If you like wax dolls so much, then go fuck that doll already. Uh, huh. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to Miu is a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with her? Um, I'm not sure if it's okay to say this, but... Could Tenko be the culprit? Huh? Um, maybe. <laughs> huh, Tenko. Oh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student co council. No. So you suspect Tenko. Actually because as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed in this lab. She would have been allowed into this lab. Oh yeah. That's right, Angie did allow members of the student council to enter the lab. Oh. Yeah, Angie had been shut away here working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That's true. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council, after all. No. It's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but since only student council members would have been let in here... So Angie only let in student council members. That would be Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Sumi Mugi. Of that group, Tenko is certainly the most suspicious. Sumi Mugi's account has been added to your truth bolt section. Hmm. Okay. So Tenko is number one sp suspect right now. Huh. Why? Oh, murder at nighttime is strange. Unpossible even. Why? Why do you think that? Right. Because student council made rule that we no can go be, be outside during nighttime. Everyone should be asleep. No m way murder could have happened at nighttime. Ew. Do you really think everyone would go along with that rule? But, but if it a two is rule. Angie say he punish us if we not follow his rules. But, but the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do whatever they wanted. Angie was also working here at night. Huh? She was. But, no way. Student council would never break own rule. Right. They should be should have been asleep in own rooms to set good example to others. <sighs> Maybe Angie got attacked while she asleep in her room. And get brought here. If so, Gonta could could have saved her. If only Gonta saw. 
But Gonto was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gonto no could save you. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside, in spite of the student council rule. T okay. So it looks like we're done here. I don't know. What else can we look at? The monitor? Well, let's look at the monitor then. It's a monitor for communicating with us. There's nothing on the screen. But just seeing it makes me feel sick. Hmm. Strange. Uh, should I look at the back door again? This door is the last back door. It is a sliding lock and it's still locked. No one has used this door since we got here. I suppose that means that Angie locked this door, and it's been locked the entire time. There's also something gold and shiny on the knob of the sliding lock. That is interesting. In addition to that, opening and closing the lock is especially easy. The locks, lock slides at the slightest touch. That may be an important clue as well. Uh, can I get out of here now, or am I trapped here? How about you, Maki? You gonna let me out of here? It's strange that the front door, door and the back doors have different locks. The front door that we came in from has a cylinder lock. And the rear door over there has a sliding lock. That's right. But by the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. In other words, this is what you might call a locked room mystery, right? Okay. Yes, under normal circumstances, you would be able to lock and unlock the doors from the inside. The only exception would be Kokichi's lockpicking. He could have picked the cylinder lock on the front door to go in and out of the lab. So he could have created this locked, door, locked room mystery. Also, he re appeared at an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab other ourselves. He's clearly suspicious. He certainly is, but I feel as though it's too obvious. Hmm. Huh. What else can I do here? I've looked at everything, I think. Uh. Do I have to look at all the wax effigies? Mmm. Nope. How about the Ron Taro one? Do, do, do. Nope. Okay, I don't have to look at the effigies. Strange. Very, very strange. Oh, pool of blood. There we go. That's the last thing it's gotta be. A small pool of blood has emanated from Angie's torso. This can't be from her forehead. This blood is from the back of her neck. Is this... this blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed, maybe more. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Hmm. Okay, we're done here for sure. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. Hmm. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. I think we... If we think about all the evidence in the combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Uh, okay. Maki, what's wrong? So what? It's not that important, but... The only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaido. At least that guy is useless. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Poor Kaido. I think we've finished investigating everything for now. Got a minute? Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we've found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry up. You're right. Uh, you're right. First we should investigate the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. We may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. That's true. We need to check if the katana really did come from that place. Hmm. Is something wrong, Maki? It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. It's not as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. It's true that Maki is tremendous help to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is a tremendous help. So let's get on out of here, I think. Yeah. Okay, so the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab is where we're going. Okay, okay. We can go there. Wonder if we'll see anything else. Hanging scroll. Mm. Just seeing if there's anything in the hallway. 
I've never had a point where things were in the hallway before, but it's good to check just in case. Okay. Nope. Not yet. I wonder if that will be a case later. That would be cool to see, actually. Find something out in the uh, hallway of the areas that you've been. But I doubt it will happen. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana is from here. And it looks like it's still here. Oh nope, it's been token taken out of the sheath. It's just the sheath. Earlier the katana was inside the sheath. Okay. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here, I'm certain of it. That's true. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab after all. No. Not necessarily, anyone could have come in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough, anyone could have done the same with my lab too. Also, I just noticed something. Oh, hey Kokichi. Oh, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? You shouldn't be helping... You should be helping with the seance. <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess this is your signature look. Anyway. anyway, I forgot to bring something we needed for the seance, so I came back to get it. Huh? Something for the seance? Yeah. Yep, that white sheet over there. Oh, they need the white sheet? We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. Huh. Okay. I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage and a wooden dog statue and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. So that means That's why I figured I'd do a little research on the seance before I got the sheet. Huh? Study? So, let's see. Kokichi took a look around and... I heard it was, like, some old handmade book. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here. On the cover, so this must be it. Let's see, what does it say about this Cage Dog Seance? Or ch Child Seance. Kokichi flipped through the old book he picked up. Oh, is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can see the Cage Child is mentioned here. Okay. What's a, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, Keo's drawing the same magic circle as the one in this picture. Um. Okay, let's see. In order to perform the cage child, you need five people, including the spirit medium, and a dark place with no light. If I remember correctly. Just like Keo said. First, draw the magic circle, passed down from the cage dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl and curl like a turtle. And the rest of their in and, and rest their forehead on the stone on the ground. Afterward, the other four participants must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. And finally the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. Also it says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. The dog god, do you mean the wooden dog statue? When preparations are complete, turn Turn out the lights and create a complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are each standing at a corner of the room. The four participants not only include the spirit medium, who will sing the caged child song. After the song, ask if the caged child, or ask is the caged child, then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit. And that's all it says. Huh. Okay. That sounds complicated. But... Complicated plans have better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works or not, Kyo has been wa wanting to conduct this seance for a while. Yeah, he d has told us he wanted to do it. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these copies, I have already memorized it. But I never thought I'd be able to lay my eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Hmm. Right? Oh yeah, he said the, he mes memorized every word of it too. That's probably why he left the book here, because he can conduct the seance without it. But, but is it even possible contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> if you're so curious, why don't you join us, Shuichi? Huh? huh. You should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? 
There's still time, you know. The seance hasn't even started yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? Don't understand. Well, I'm not going. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> but whether you believe or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> now you're talking. Right. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle of one. Hmm. Okay. Kokichi spoke as though he was inviting me to go play, then left the room. The caged child has been added to truth bullet section. Also, I noticed that Pekko's mask is over here. Right in the back there. You can kind of see it. It's kind of funny. The sun sh sun uh, sunshine killer mask. Okay, so that's all there was here, so... So we're going to the middle room and doing the seance then. Huh. That's gonna be different. So let's go check that out. To the middle room, you say? Let's do this. Center room. Open it up now. Ooh, it does look creepy in here. So Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. You are most welcome to join us. Is what I would like to say. However, only including five, including the spirit medium, may join. Oh man, what a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. Me? Why me? I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. You see. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. Why you? Don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out? After forcing me to come? That's why we're apologizing. No one's apologized yet. Oh, fine, fine, our bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. Why would I do that? Stop whining, Kibo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> Fine, but I won't forget this betrayal, Shuichi. Wait, why is it my fault? What did I do? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, then. so now, Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Okay, what kind of warnings? Do, you understand? do not enter the magic circle that I have drawn on this floor. It is drawn with purifying salts, so it is easily disturbed when stepping on. You drew this magic circle with salt. That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes sense. Seance is more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, it's dark in here, so you be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also Unleash a curse. Uh, okay. uh, got it. I'll be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Do not worry. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Of course, I also have the Cage Child song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I have copied the words to the song down here. Please commit it to memory. Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you'll be unable to read it in the dark. Huh? We have to memorize the lyrics now. Oh. You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here's the melody. Is he going to sing it for me? I listened to Keo sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Huh. Okay. Okay. Alright, I think I've got it now. Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then, let us begin the ritual right away. How exciting! Yay, we finally get to see Angie! So then. Before that, let's choose our spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. Mm -hmm. Then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No, I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Mm -hmm. True, right. I guess. You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way, you can say goodbye to her. 
After all, you've finished saying your goodbyes. Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Please. Tenko. By the way. Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is pretty natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better if, when you do. Well, I mean laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. I think I've trained too much. You're probably right. It seems like the two of them made up. That's good. Yeah, it is good, I guess. So now, that we've decided on a spiritual medium, let us begin. Alright, Himiko. I'll see you later. Okay. So how does this go? Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Okay. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Oh, okay. Make sure you watch your steps, it's so dark in here. Hmm. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Okay, yeah, that was written down there. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. Was that part of it? Um, I hope so, I guess. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Oh, okay. Um, like this? Hmm. This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Oh, okay. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Huh. Piece of cake. I have five star flexibility. Five star flexibility. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how this is how this works. Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place this iron cage on top. Tenko, I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind, walk carefully, as to not disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like I it, but I'm actually super duper strong. Is that true? Oh. I shouldn't have lied. Been way too <laughs> for this kind of stuff. Oh, I was about to say I thought you were telling the truth there. Of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Huh, Hold it would on. make sense. You'll just drop it on top of me. <laughs> well, we have no. to. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Oh. Uh, Please don't jinx us. <laughs> okay. I'm tired. So Next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Control. Oh, you're gonna get it? Okay. All right, everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Yeah, how are you doing, Tenko? Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. Oh, okay. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. The dog god? Huh, the four of us okay. We need to do this together. The statue was quite heavy. Yeah, it does look pretty heavy. Yeah. That's definitely a heavy statue. Also, that does not look like a dog. It's still really heavy. How heavy is it? Oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton! <laughs> no, it is not much more than 175 pounds. Really? Then why is it so hard for them to pick up? I'm pretty- oh, they're all weak. I guess that makes sense. Actually, Shuichi's been doing push-ups. He should be able to carry that a lot easier. Uh, well, we're supposed to. Hmm. Okay. Let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing. Okay, we can not- we'll try not to disturb it. So then, This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Got it. Hmm. Understood, I will not say a word until the seance is over. Okay everyone, I'll see you guys after the seance. 
Well then. Hmm. The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. Okay. Oh, there's a... Uh, Lines going on the outside of the circle. Okay, so we're all standing at a corner of the circle. We should each stood in a different corner. Hmm. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Um. Okay. The candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. True, I guess. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. Huh. You okay. Move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Hmm. Yeah, got it. Okay. Once the room is Makes dark, we'll begin the song. Please sing along with me. Um, okay. Here, I will call out to Angie. Until I, I don't know what's about to happen. Honestly. After the seance is done. I don't know if we're about to get like a the candles again, right? Ataka Mundo mix character or what's about so that hmm. then I'll blow out the candle now okay blow them out let's get the seance started I really do wonder how this is gonna go I walked up the clo up to the closest candle and blew out the flame okay let's do this we're in complete blackness now the room instantly fell into complete darkness pitch black darkness so dark I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner. Then began the singing. At last, at last, at long last. Is this Keo singing? Keo led us all in the caged child song. Young are dumb and little lost girl sealed within an iron cage. This is creepy. <laughs> At mountain's bottom within the darkness. At last, at last, at long last. I only hear uh, Kyo and Himiko. How many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? Huh. Thunk? What the heck was that? Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little Huh. Okay. At last, at last, at long last. Huh. This, uh... I didn't expect a creepy... Reach out and touch Wraith. Wraith? Wait, what? I just got a random achievement. I want to see what that is. Conduct the seance. Um... Okay, was I not supposed to? We finished singing the song, but I thought I heard an odd so sound in the middle of it. What was that? Yeah, I heard- I noticed that too. Is the cage child Angie Yunaga? He began calling, now if the medium answers. Say. Is the cage child Angie Yunaga? What's going on? Say. Is the cage child Angie Yunaga? What's the matter? What's wrong? Why won't Angie answer? Hold on. Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? Mm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um. Maybe it failed. Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What is... What? Is that okay? Well. Just for now. Confused, I walked along the wall back to the candles. I managed to strike a match and light the candle once again. Okay. On goes the light again. Hmm. hmm. Hey, what's going on? It did it really fail? That cannot be. That shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. What? Is Angie not coming? Is that still Tenko in there? Hmm. 
Tenko. I see, yes. Ah, I told her she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> she follows orders well, but how about we let her out for now? Hold on. Wait, dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Seeing how, how this was a failure, I don't think any spirit is sticking around, but whatever. Yeah, it definitely failed. Okay. Just setting just like setting up, Keo instructed us to clean everything up. We were carefully we were careful to remove everything exactly in order Keo directed. Now, I will remove the sheet. Okay. Remove it. Keo pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Yeah, what's going on there? Oh. Perhaps. Something is amiss. Is she bleeding? Why, though? Himiko ran toward the cage in, at a sprint. Uh. Himiko, I told you not to step on the... But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and... Dango! Is she okay? Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage and lifted it up and... And what? Yep, definitely dead. That's the body discovery. And Tenko is officially gone. Huh. Well, it was nice knowing you, Tenko. You did change a little bit near the end, which I'm glad that she changed at least a little bit and she just wasn't just mean the whole time, because she was... Pretty aggressive of a character. Okay, ding dong dong ding. Another body has been discovered. Really? Who would have thought that there'd be another victim during the investigation? Maybe Monofane's green puke was predicting this tragedy. It's orange now. Oh, this puke's color is normal now. I guess it was predicting this. Everyone, please, assemble in the seance room. Huh. Okay. Uh, that's not good. At all. The second body discovery announcement played. It didn't take long for everyone to come running. I wonder if it's two killers this time. What? Tenko, seriously? <laughs> what is this? How did this happen? This Tenko, Gonta's so sorry. Gonta no could protect you. Shuichi explained the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, I don't know what's happening. Huh. That... I guess that thunk noise was whatever... Uh... Said that that happened, I guess. I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Um, I guess for now. You should maybe start the investigation right away. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko, yes? Huh? What happens if the event that two- there are two murderers? Murders by two people. What if they are- there are two Blackens? Well, we need to find them both at the class trial. That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen if- in this scenario? Huh? What would happen? Monadam, what would happen? What would happen? Uh, I said his, vo his voice wrong. Why do you look lost too, Monadam? I thought you were going to run things instead of Daddy. I never expected something like this to happen. I don't know what to do. Really, I don't know. Oh man, they're all disorganized. I, if you can't decide this class child's objective, then we won't know what to investigate. Father, Father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. No Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us. Oh, here he is. Hey, Monokuma. Ugh, it's all our fault that, that Daddy ended up like that. Huh? It's all your fault, Monofane. Daddy. Daddy, help! We don't know what to do on our own. We gotta use your the power of love. 
That ought to snap him back to normal. That won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's not true. Anything is possible with the power of love. You don't understand that, because you've never been loved before in Monodam. Daddy. Daddy, I love you so much. Please co go back to normal. Father. I want to see you, Father. I love you with all my heart. Okay. Aw, yeah. oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, there's two of them. I'm back. Were you good while I was away? Uh, yep, they were. Kinda. He's he's licking the other Monokuma. Huh. I guess he he really didn't give up. <laughs> okay then. Uh. <laughs> Mana damn. <laughs> Uh, man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take time off to relax. Normally, most companies won't even let you take time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is just to leave with it, whether you get permission or not. Huh? Wait, so then who's this Baldi then? Oh, just a part-timer. I got to cover me while I was gone. Here's your pay like we agreed on. Now take it and get out of here. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. I guess the other Monokuma's not gonna talk. Now that's- now that that nuisance is out of the way. What were you guys talking about again? Ah, uh, that's right. What happens to your vo votes if you, there are two blackened candidates? Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first served. First come, first served. The blackened who killed the first victim, to be discovered, will be your target. In other words, if you, the blackened who killed Angie isn't the same one who killed Tenko, then he, only Angie's killer will be considered the blackened. Basically, Tenko's killer was a waste, wasted a kill, and Tenko herself is a waste of a victim. Oh, I'll add this to the school regulation so you can review it later. I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate the murder, too. Monokuma file 3 has been updated on in your truth bolts. Boy, everything is going so smoothly now. That father's running things again. Leaders gotta be able to take decisive action. Indecision is the worst. Daddy, you're glowing. You're glowing like a lamp. There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. For as long as you live, I will never let any of you go. Hmm. Okay. He just left us behind while he was saying he'd never let us go. That's why he's so amazing. Please lick me more, Daddy. Uh-huh. Uh, farewell. Hey, Monadam, you're still here. Um, is he gonna be fine? Uh-huh. Um, so this... So to make sense of all that... Listen closely. If both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine on Angie's killer. Nope. But we didn't even know if there there is a different culprit, do we? Let's see. True. We should investigate Tenko's death as well. Just in case. How exciting! Aha! Uh -huh. Finally, things are heating up. I'm getting so excited. Piece of shit. God, you fucking psycho. Shuichi, Shuichi this is bad. Huh? Hmm. This is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone is upset and confused. I'm in no shape to help right now. So this is where you need to step up. Listen, up. Listen Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Uh, okay. uh yeah. All right then, let's check the Monokuma file first. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't seen this one yet. The victim is Tenko Shaba... Shaba Shira, the ultimate Aikido master. The body was found in the middle empty room of the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m. 
The only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. Hmm. hmm. A stab wound on the on the neck, the same as Angie's cause of death. Hmm. It doesn't look like a coincidence. Maybe it's Angie's curse. Oh. Uh, curse? Um, I'm just gonna yes, do that, cuz. <laughs> God, not again. A uh, curse? Y yeah, a curse. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Monkey's face. <laughs> Yep, a curse. Calm down. Yeah, please calm down. <laughs> Don't screw around. You were the one who's screwing around. Um. Did you want to? <laughs> uh, I think he does now. Honestly. <laughs> Did he just get punched or what just happened? A dull sound reverberated through the room. I think she punched him. Yep. Are you okay? <laughs> Kaido, are you okay? My bad. My bad, Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. I'm gonna get some fresh air. So I'll leave this to you and mock your roll. <laughs> um, okay. Kaido left the room still a bit wobbly. <laughs> yeah, he got smacked across um, the face. <laughs> um, we should... Should we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. That's correct. True. We haven't time to mourn Tenko's death. As our own lives are at risk. This is... That's true, but Angie and then Tenko. <laughs> and to think earlier, I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm sorry, Tenko. How can this be? It's all Gonta's fault. Gonta failed to protect friends again. Hmm. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I'm a detective. Yep, we are. Investigation resume. That's the first time we've ever got a resume investigation. It's too dark in here. We can't investigate even if we wanted to. Go to bring candles from other room to make this room bright, okay? No, no that won't, won't be necessary. Huh. Yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? huh? Why? Show him, Kibo. Show him your new power. Okay, what kind of power? New power. Oh yeah, she did maintenance on him, didn't she? Oh. I knew Iruma, huh. the gorgeous girl genius, have installed a new function in Kibo. Just That's pretty cool. Here, I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. Huh. Um. Okay. <laughs> shine on, shine on, shine on, you crazy fucking diamond. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then. <laughs> So he's a flashlight now. Oh, man. man, what a lame function. You should have made him like a transformer or something. It's yeah, that would have been funny. But it's bright now, so we should hurry it up and investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Kibo's flashlight function has been added to your truth bolt section. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, with that, we are officially done with this episode. So... As always, keep being spooky, and thank you for watching. Hey guys and girls, I just want to say thank you for watching today's video. If you liked everything you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you want to see more, thank you all for watching, and peace out.